Back guys to another episode of SR Auto Group's YouTube channel. It has been a month. I know everyone's been uh, bugging me to make a video. Luckily today we have this 2017 NSX. It's one of my favorite colors. This thing is absolutely loaded. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to lower it, put a set of wheels on it, and make this thing look like how it should from the factory uh, when we got it. Uh, this car is really not something that a lot of people gave credit to, but what a car it is, and I'm gonna tell you about it right now. So oh, this car is Nouvelle Blue Pearl. This is a extended range color for Acura. They, they had it for all the years. It's a 2017, it has tech package, it has um, the interwoven wheels, it has um, the carbon fiber exterior, carbon fiber roof with uh, satellite radio. Uh, it is as loaded as it can be, uh, carbon fiber rear spoiler. So basically the carbon fiber exterior package, which includes the uh, side carbon, the front splitter. Now, this car, like I said earlier, doesn't really get a lot of attention, and I don't know why. Maybe it was the price, maybe it was, I don't know, the fact that it's still an Acura or a Honda, which I still love. Still really fast, zero to 60, I think is 2.6 or 2.7 seconds. It's a hybrid. Um, it's not a plug-in hybrid, but it still uh, runs on E mode. I love this car. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a set of wheels on it. Let's go look at them right now, uh, Martin. We have Advan GTs here. Uh, they're the race, Advan Racing GTs. Uh, these are probably one of the coolest wheels. Uh, probably the nicest look. Uh, look at the rear one, Martin. See, look how deep uh, it is. So we have the Advan Racing GTs. We're using uh, Michelin tires. I don't know what size these are, I can tell you. Oh, 255, 30, 20s in the front. And we are running 325, 25, 21 in the rear. So Ed's gonna mount these ones up. Uh, we're gonna put new tire pressure monitors in it and keep the factory ones in the car. Uh, we're lowering it using Science of Speed uh, suspension, which is over here. So the cool thing about uh, the Acura, I believe it has Magna Ride or Air Ride, uh, not Air Ride, sorry. Uh, it has um, magnetic ride. So you wanna keep the factory shock. Now there is aftermarket coilover kits and what have you for the car, but for the last couple cars I had, what I did is I used the Science of Speed kit, which literally replaces the collars, the, well, the perches that hold the spring. Uh, a little bit of a thicker, uh, or maybe it's a narrower spring. No. It's a narrower uh, perch uh, that lowers the car, and you have two settings. You can put it on 12 millimeter or 24 millimeter. Is that right, Martin? So we're gonna put this 24 millimeters, lowered on 20, 21 inch wheels. Uh, the Science of Speed kit is awesome. I've used it on two or three cars so far. Um, it comes with the tools you need to uh, take the shock out, uh, sorry, the top hat out of the shock to put the spring uh, perch in. And it even comes with the Honda uh, zap straps, I guess, to put the lines going to the Magna Ride. Is that right? Probably? Yeah. So. All that's there, I'm gonna show you while Martin's installing it, he'll pull a shock out uh, uh, and install the hat. I'll show you how he's doing that. We'll show you an end uh, result of what it looks like and uh, maybe go for a rip. So we're at Fast Track, we're just taking a quick look at uh, Project Violet. Apparently some work has been done, they're so busy, but let's take a look at it. Also check it out. So they have fixed some flat spots, Some uh, they've done the highs and lows, this is really good good stuff. Uh, they've done the the little bit of body work here. Like, there was no damage, but there's little imperfections that I had them uh, just quickly fixed. Doors are off, apparently they've been primed, they're somewhere around this place. Um, this fender had a little bit of a wave on it, probably from somebody leaning against it, so they fixed that. But the biggest thing was the little bit of rust that was right here. Literally, it was a little hole right here so fast track took care of that so all that's left now is they got to pull the sunroof out um, to fix this little uh, I don't know if you can see it there's a little bit of uh, pitting here uh, so they're gonna fix that take the roof out uh, so they can get it into uh, primer and paint uh, bumpers are over here let's take a look at the bumpers oh here are the doors doors are here uh, are these my doors are these the doors? They look like it. <sighs> Maybe. So these are probably our doors. Uh, they've been primed, uh, primed, is fixed. They're gonna just, um, uh, what's Long that? Sand it. 
block it. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna block this puppy, uh, make it all straight. This car is actually gonna look really, really good. I'm quite excited about this car. Um, they've repaired some uh, spots on the bumper as well. There was a little bit of uh, uh, pitting again. Remember guys, this is almost a 30 year old car. Is it a 30? Yeah, 30 year old car. Uh, had some issues here and there, but everything else is pretty damn good. Uh, Andrew told me he, I have to order uh, these rivets and some seals so we can take this apart and paint it properly. So that's gonna be done. Uh, rockers are here, rear spoilers here. That's gotta get um, uh, properly painted this time. Look at the last guy who painted it. Literally painted all the black uh, into this wrong purple. That's that. Apparently uh, my sister's G63 Brabus uh, lights are here. They're probably never gonna get touched. We'll just leave it right here. Uh, and that's it. So 964 isn't coming along fast, but it's coming. Uh, we're going to get this done pretty soon. But let's go back to Martin now uh, and see how far he's gotten with the NSX back at the shop. Uh, that thing's going to look cool. This thing's going to look cool. We've got a lot of projects going, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's just that I'm getting on the video so slow. I'll show you all of them as fast as I can. of installing the second perch on this NSX guys so what we're replacing is this perch right here you see how thin it is but how shallow the bottom part is now the new one is is a heavier thicker perch uh, which is kind of backwards because you think thicker means the car would go higher but no it actually sits further inside so this perch will literally come down here uh, when it's in, which will probably give us that 24 millimeter lowering. So we got a couple special tools um, with the, the kit, the lowering kit from uh, Science of Speed. Uh, one is the upper nut tool that holds the shock shaft. And, and this is the uh, tool that undo, uh, undoes the bolt. So that goes in there. This goes on to, to hold the shaft and you spin the shaft open. This is that Honda, uh, strap that we got with the kit right here. So that's gonna be replaced after we do it. So in this case, we have to deep pin this plug, slide all this out, put the tools in, loosen this cap, and then slide this on top of that. While we do that, we have to shorten the uh, inner bounce thingy. Bounce stop. Bounce thingy. Who says bounce thingy, ladies and gentlemen? Bump stop, you have to cut the bump stop so the suspension mm. travel stays the same. Uh, this is actually uh, already done. Martin's gonna take this apart now. Uh, we'll probably have it done in two or three hours or so, so we'll show you with the uh, advance on it. It's gonna look really, really nice. So guys, earlier I was mumbling on about the fact that the hats are different and one's higher than the bottom. So if you look underneath here, this is the OEM one. You see where the perch sits on the collar? Uh, here, so that's a spring. The OEM one sits here. So this would go right here and just sit right down there, like literally flush with the bottom. So the way the aftermarket science of speed one works is the perch goes way in there, like I said, but look how much further down it goes. So it literally is about 24 mil lower than this one. Then the spring goes back in, um, the hat goes on, uh, the bu oh, sorry, the bump stop goes in, the cap goes on, all this stuff bolts on, but literally it's a simple piece of machining that Science of Speed has done, uses the factory spring and the factory parts, the factory magnetic ride, uh, and the ride is amazing. It's like nothing changed, just a bit lower. Um, I really recommend this kit if you have a, a NC1 NSX. So Ed is now mounting the front uh, rear wheel for the NSX. It's a reverse mount, ladies and gentlemen, so 
the we have to put it on these fingers. Uh, you can tell by the drop is on the back side of the wheel instead of the front. So Ed's going to lock it up and then we're going to mount it. As we're using the Michelin 325, 25, 21 with the fuzzy premium touch sidewall, this has quickly become my favorite tire just because of this aesthetic. It's a brilliant plan on uh, Michelin's part. So Ed's going to pop this on right now uh, with our Corgi Master over here. That's the right side, Ed. That's the right side. So we hook it in. Quick turn. So the initial is quite easy, ladies and gentlemen. And the last arm. So guys, this, this one holds the sidewall down while these, this one rolls it in. This one is the guide right here. And just like that, he pops it in. And we're done. So these two will go on to the NSX shortly. Look how good it looks. The Advan GT with the Michelin Premium Tire. So guys, we're going back to show you what Martin has done in the shop. As you can see, the Advan GTs are on it. Don't show them yet. And Martin's just about buttoning up the back. So he took off all the carbon fiber pieces to get to the rear suspension uh, and the wiring up top. So there's four items left, uh, the center panel, the two side panels and the rear uh, sorry, and the engine cover panel. Once he puts that in, we're gonna put this car down. We're gonna quickly go over it, maybe go for a drive if we have a few minutes. Uh, but this car is almost done. It's uh, gonna be really, really nice. I'm really excited. At the end of the video, guys, we're looking at one of the most perfect cars in my opinion. A, it's a Honda, it doesn't break. B, it's lowered and it has the right wheels and tires that I love. So Martin did the science of speed lowering, Advan Racing GTs with the Michelin uh, tires. Uh, the soft touch, the ones that I like, the premium ones. Uh, the car Nouvelle Blue is absolutely beautiful. Um, it has all the carbon fiber from the factory. This was a higher option car. So this is a, uh, it is a 2017. It's not worth exactly the 179 you see on Auto Trader or what have you in Canada. This is probably a, a 200 plus car for this specific model. Um, it had uh, matte carbon fiber, but this car has been PPF'd. So all the matte carbon uh, looks glossy. Um, I personally like the matte carbon. It's just my thing, but um, uh, either way, it, it's absolutely beautiful. This one has a little bit of a crazy red interior. So this was the exact same color as my white uh, car's interior, but in this ca car's case, the blue and the red, they, they kind of match. It has these hues with the rear calipers and what have you, but absolutely loaded, absolutely beautiful. More and walk around this car. It's there's no angle of this car that doesn't have a beautiful effect. I, I absolutely think this was a home run. Um, this car is available for sale. Um, uh, you'll see it on Auto Trader uh, shortly. Not at SR Auto Group. This is one of our clients' cars. If you really like it, uh, look for it. Uh, this is a 10 out of 10 in uh, my opinion. Uh, we did do one last touch. Uh, was the burnt titanium lug nuts, uh, which I've got to mention. So those got put on. That's just more of a, a ricer thing that uh, we, we did from back in the day. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessary, but it's, it's kind of cool. All in all, the NSX is done. Martin, give it a walk around. Um, maybe we'll throw a montage in here before the end uh, of the video. In saying that, ladies and gentlemen, after the montage, uh, we're not coming back. So Thanks for watching the video. I know you ask us for more videos. We'll make some as fast as we can. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Uh, we'll be here for the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.